Hello and welcome to the beginning of the end of Thomas and Friends. Uh, nice positive intro there. <laughs> well, the way you did it, you delivered it in a very positive way, didn't you? I did, yeah. Oh. yeah. Although season 8 isn't too bad, the series starts to take a turn for the worse, so I've been told. It does. Uh, can I enjoy this new look series for long? No. <laughs> Only time will tell. Uh, so, yeah, be prepared for uh, Steam Team Grizzard to be cancelled. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, coming up in today's quiz, Thomas saves uh, a children's firework display. Very noble of him. Well, yeah. uh, Percy goes uh, overboard with his whistling. <laughs> Don't we all from time to time? <laughs> <laughs> we go. We do. It's a common problem. It is, yeah. <laughs> then Thomas runs into more trouble with the fish. He doesn't like fish, does he? No, he doesn't, no. No. I don't like it when people reuse titles, but there you go. That's, yeah, just, that's what, just me. <laughs> what about reusing jokes? Are we okay with that? Yeah, because yeah. we do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good thing. That's a positive thing. Uh, Emily helps out with a te- after a terrible storm uh, by whistling and wishing steam at workers. Yeah, because that's going to motivate them, isn't it? I find them, that's a it? brilliant way to get people motivated. <laughs> <Shake> yeah, them. <laughs> scold them. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, your manager does it to you, doesn't he? <laughs> I, I didn't, not argue, back. I didn't argue back with him. <laughs> You're not working fast now. I'm going to have to throw this coffee over you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, because he, he would pre-warn me. <laughs> I've made this cup of coffee on the pure, on the pure incidents that you're not working fast enough. So here's your punishment. <laughs> what a waste of coffee. <laughs> yeah, not to be bothered. It's burning you. More concerned with the... Uh... The wastefulness. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Thomas saves We've started a. Started already. <laughs> <laughs> We're in top form, aren't we? Yeah, top it just gets yeah. better. As, it just gets better as the series it gets goes better on. in your wardrobe. Apparently so. So, like I was saying, Thomas saves a new station from certain disaster. But like we were saying, it probably wasn't certain disaster. It probably would have just rolled straight through the new station and onto Farqua. Farqua. No one cares about no. that. Send it through to cut Farqua. It's their problem, though. <laughs> uh, uh, but on the brighter side. Mm. As the uh, episodes get crappier... Yeah. Uh, is that a word? It is not. Uh, yeah, so the worse it gets, the more jokes we can probably come out with. So, um, Sharon, prepare to take a hit. Entertainment. So anyway, you can grab your cue cards together and let's get this show on the road. Or the railway trolley. <laughs> get, this, get this thing back on track. Ah! Uh, thought that one through, didn't you? Right. I had that, I was saving that for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking for a way to insert it in without sounding like it's shoehorned in. Yeah. Like Thomas in these later series. <laughs> Always have to learn a lesson I've realised yeah, from these episodes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Thomas in the firework display. Are you a fan of fireworks, Calico? I do you like fireworks. No, oh, I don't. I like the pretty colours. <laughs> a bit like the fact controller. Yes. Oh, look, it's purple. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a thingy magic. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine wheel, sir. Catherine wheel, yes, that's a Catherine wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called Catherine? <laughs> I want one called Sir Topham. <laughs> <laughs> this one over here, this is called a Sir Topham wheel. <laughs> I'm going to name that one after me Jaffa Cake. It's a Jaffa Cake wheel. That's a Jaffa wheel. <laughs> that's a Jaffa wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that one over there can be Lady Hatch. <laughs> So, no, they're just called Catherine, because I imagine that someone called Catherine invented them. I don't care. I bloody paid for them. I call them what I bloody well want you. <laughs> just like that, we reuse jokes. <laughs> Which, out of the following, is something the engines are said to look forward to? Market day, springtime, harvest festival time, or Christmas time? Probably all of them. All of them. I imagine... I imagine if they had an episode about them, yeah. <laughs> they would all be looking forward to that yeah, particular thing. But what in this episode are they looking forward to? Is it, uh, harvest? <laughs> is it the Harvest Day? It is Harvest Festival time. And do you look forward to Harvest Festival time? I did when I was younger, yeah. but now I just... Yeah. Uh, no, I used it's to not, like not updating my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Harvest Festival Day! <laughs> 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 like you take a bloody tin of baked beans to work like you had to do to school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you remember that? You <laughs> yeah, to, like, sell them on the store. Yeah. <laughs> you, Mum, I need something to take to Harvest Festival Day. Uh, what we got on the bloody cupboard that's oh, nearly that's out of date. That's nearly out of date, yeah. <laughs> that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. Tin yeah. of peaches that's right in the back of the cupboard. What it was, it was... Um, it was an opportunity for parents to clear out all the nearly out of date stuff. Yeah. Without throwing it away, that's so they it. thought they were doing something good for the environment. Yeah, that's it. 
How many vans are, are there in James's train of fireworks? Two in a brake van, four in a brake van, six in a brake van, or eight in a brake van? It was... <laughs> was sure, but now I'm not sure. How many? Six. And a brake van. Are you sure? Yes. Is this your final answer? It is. Doom, doom, doom. We'll find out after the break. When we left off, Calico here was on. <laughs> well, he was on drugs. He asked the audience. <laughs> and, uh, it was six and a break, fan. You were lucky to go with the audience because they're right. <laughs> the eyes are checked for £32,000. We, we don't, don't want, want to give you that. <laughs> What do we? <laughs> do you want to leave do, we, do, do, we, do we gym? <laughs> the director says yes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. The producer said no. <laughs> we don't want to give you that, I'm afraid. Off you go. <laughs> but I've won it. Doesn't matter. We're not allowed to give you it. No, we're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks well. I've been, told, I've been told we're sticking to our guns. No, you're not having it. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Oh, so you for playing. It's been... Do you think lovely. this is a good impression of him? <laughs> Hello, I'm Chris Dolan. Sounds more like Prince Charles. <laughs> is it? Yes, you're correct. It was six in a break van. Wh- which of the following is not something James imagines when he thinks about the firework display just before he breaks down? Loud bangs, sparkles, flashes, and shooting stars. <laughs> I think that's going to set someone's dirty <laughs> mind off again. We're going very well to that. Yeah, um, it is shooting stars. You're incorrect. Am I really? Yes. Why would you be thinking about shooting stars when you're looking at thinking about fireworks? Well, maybe that is the name of a firework. Maybe. I don't know. I've, I've, don't never, like I've never heard of it, no. but no. I, I might be wrong. He was uh, not thinking about loud bangs, and I'm sure people will be going to hear about that. What is said to cheer Thomas up, seeing the children arriving at the station on time? That's Trevor. That's Trevor. <laughs> Trevor's one, isn't it? Seeing the fireworks train or James breaking down. <laughs> oh, that's cheered me up no end. <laughs> he got my job and he's broken down. That has cheered me up no end. <laughs> uh, it's the children. It is, yeah. Very... More of a Trevor thing, but... I bet they'll have it... to edit, uh, edit that bit out of all broadcast now. <laughs> they're trying to kind of get an angle on it for Thomas now. Yeah. He's kind of the edgy one. Yeah, because they're trying to phase Trevor out. <laughs> um, when is when the track is straight and clear, what does James call out? Oh, clear! Go faster! Keep going! Or oh, hurry up! <laughs> go faster! <laughs> it is, go faster, yes. Percy's new whistle. Are you a fan of new whistles, or I would be yeah. if he had got one. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's ever mentioned in the episode that he has a new whistle. No, no. I was expecting that he would. He was blowing it so hard that it would shoot off. A bit like uh, Duncan in Faulty Whistles. Yes, they're and reusing then... titles. I might as well reuse plot. This <laughs> is it. But yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But it's it didn't go that way. No, no. What can diesels do better than steamies, according to Ari and Bert? Shunting trucks, quarry work, pulling freight trains, or everything. Everything, apparently. Well, apparently so. I don't agree, but that is what they say. Well, I imagine they're more fuel. Eff- they're, they're more efficient. Mm. Like, mm. You don't have to stop every time. Mm. Take mm. on more mm. coal and water mm. and whatnot. But no, yeah. So, what one would you go with? Someone offered you a steam train and a diesel. Which one would you go with? It depends. Oh. Is is this a little a shoddy little tank engine like Thomas or a great grand engine like Spencer? Well, for argument's sake, we'll say it's uh, like Gordon. Gordon, not yeah. Spencer. No, not Spencer. In between the two. Spencer's too grand. It's, it's got to be sort of one in the middle, see. I think I'd take Gordon. Would you take Gordon over a diesel? I would, yeah. Even though it means you've got to be up at the crack of dawn to start his fire. No, so. I'd ask him for that. <laughs> well, if you had money to buy a steam engine in the first place, you could afford to ask someone to keep there the fire. <laughs> How many trucks does Thomas have in front of him when Percy scares him? One, two, three, or four? Four. You're correct, it is four. I know. All right, big head. When Percy is hit by the snowball, what sort of tankers is he pulling? Or your s- milk, soda fuel, or tar? Ah, uh, that was milk. 
It was milk. Oh dear. <laughs> also, it's advertised. Yeah. I wonder what's actually in it. What colour is the Fat Controller's hat and scarf? Red, blue, yellow or white? A great, nice, bright yellow <laughs> shade. <laughs> it really sounds mad. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting pink with purple spots myself. But yeah, so that would probably been a little bit more madder. Uh, but. Hello, Charles, do you like my new outfit? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you then. You lost your Jaffa cake allowance. Go on! <laughs> oh, dear me. Complete the Fat Controller's quote. You are a really useful engine, and... A, a safe one, <laughs> B, a quiet one, C, a careless one, or D, a clever one. Well, it ain't clever, is it? Well, I think all of his engines are stupid. <laughs> they, all, they all lack the brain power, don't they, since it took over. This is very true. Um, a safe one, he says. Yeah. Not what I would describe as a safe one, but no. I told you what I'd describe as a safe one. But I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Flatulence, flatulence that didn't result in a change of underwear. <laughs> That's a safe one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very clean way to put it as well. <laughs> well, I didn't want to uh, go too dirty with it. Not at this stage of the proceedings. <laughs> <laughs> We're just starting a new series. We don't want to go, don't want to go smutty already. <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite yet. Let's save that for midway. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you a fan of fish? In what text? <laughs> in what context? Haddock, cod. Ah, cod, yes, I'm a cod fan. Are you a cod fan? I am. Not Call of Duty? Not Call of Duty, well, I'm a Call of Duty fan. Are but you? also a cod, as in the fish. Ah, nice. The yeah. species of fish. Yeah. Do you like kippers? Not really, no. Do you like, uh, what's that stuff that's yellow? Haddock. Haddock. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hmm. Place? You ever had place? No, not, not to my knowledge. Question one. Arthur tells Thomas to take how many trucks at a time? Five, six, seven, eight. Five. There, f- two, there, five, there, seven, there, no. <laughs> it is five. The fish reminds Salty of what? The docks, the sea, his time in Bimini, or Iceland? Because <laughs> we all know mum's shop at Iceland. <laughs> and we all know... Other great discount frozen food stores are available, <laughs> even though they're not as good. <laughs> um, it reminds him of the sea. Not his time in Bim- Bimini or Iceland. No. It reminds me of Iceland, me art is. <laughs> <laughs> not the place, no, the shop. <laughs> How did you get in there? <laughs> I didn't, I stood up so you know, I, so you know. <laughs> I rolled. I rolled off the rails and went through the wall. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like an ordeal. Oh, it was great, me hearties. Frozen food for a pound. <laughs> no one can argue with that. <laughs> I've never seen so much variety of frozen stuff. <laughs> At such low price. Are we doing an advert for ice? <laughs> sounds like it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the Fat Controller tells Thomas that he must learn to be more what? Patient? Steady, thoughtful, or safe? Diverse. <laughs> no, again with the um, the safe. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, everybody's they've got to be safe on the island. But you're correct. Thomas's couplings are said to smell of what? Cod, kippers, haddock, or carp? Well, it wouldn't be carp, because carp is a river fish. I don't know on soda. <laughs> I don't know, it's quite a confusing place. Yeah. Carrying fish in open topped wagons. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. <laughs> yeah. um, but we had coal in our hands, you're mad, was it? <laughs> I'm not going to eat them, I don't buy cheap fish like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't shop at sh- uh, cheap stores, I go to Waitrose or something like that. <laughs> uh, no, uh, it's the smell of cod. No. You- no. Uh, go on, change your answer if you want to. The kippers, sorry, kippers. <laughs> I really should go with your first choice, but I'm feeling very generous, mainly because I've had, well, about four rubbing cokes. So, uh, well, vodka in cokes actually, because I'm nearly out of rum. I'm trying to save it for a special occasion, like the anniversary of Steam Team Quiz is coming up soon. Yes, it was kippers, not cod. His cabin smelled of cod. Yes, it was his buffers of kipper. No, his couplings were kippers. Yeah, and his cabin was cod. Yeah. 
What is the, what's the best part of the day according to Salty? Working hard, getting cleaned, being at the docks or night time? Being cleaned, I believe. It is, yes. Well, and you wouldn't a... think so, really, because he's quite a scruffy old uh, sea dog. Isn't he? There's a train. Yeah. Um, what's your favourite part of the day, Calico? Going home. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to be blunt. I'm just going to be blunt about it. Not on a Sunday. On a Sunday. No, on a s- the best part of the day is uh, playing darts. Not recorded STQ? No. Of course it is. What would I do without this? Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's Adventure. Are you a fan of adventures, Calico? Yeah, but not with Emily. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone wants to be with Emily, do they? <laughs> yeah, she's quite annoying. We used to build dens, didn't we? That used to be our adventures. We did. Yeah. wonder if our dens... Are... Remember we had a hub- hubcap hanging in one? Yeah. That we found at the side of the road. We hung it up as our little mascot. Trophy, I believe it was. Mm. Those were the what days. What we salvaged from hunting. <laughs> Those were the days, weren't they? Those were the days. Which of the following is not something that is seen during the shots of the storm? A water tower blowing over? A telegraph pole being blown over? A tree that has fallen onto the line? Or the roof blowing off a barn? Uh, it was the telegraph being blown over was not. There was not a telegraph seen blowing over. Which of the following items cannot be seen in Farmer McCall's kitchen? Buckets, a kettle, apples, or a clock? I say a clock. There was no clock? No. Is that your final answer? Yes. You're incorrect. Uh, there was a clock hanging on the wall. There was also some apples and there was also some buckets. There was no kettle. He's, li- he's Yorkshire, Calico. He does things the old-fashioned way. Boils it in a he, pot. Yeah, he boils water on pot on stove. <laughs> oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> That's obvious. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> Emily can be seen wishing steam at some workmen at what station? Marin, Wellsworth, Maithway, or Dryor? Uh, it was. It's the aeroplane. Place. <laughs> place. So that would be Dryor. Dryor. Are you a fan of Dryor? Surprised it's made it to the, to the new series? Or? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It probably won't be seen very much though, will it? I don't really know, to be honest. <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched these. I don't watch them unless I absolutely have to. The barn is home to what? Piglets, lambs, calves or chicks? Calves. It is calves. That's a part of your leg, isn't it? Half. Yeah. Who else could be seen in some of the shots of the fallen Wharton Tower beside Elizabeth? Besides Elizabeth. Besides. Besides. She's beside Besides. herself with joy. Besides. Trevor, George, Terence, or Butch? Ah, it was Butch. It was Butch. There was also a horrid lorry there, wasn't there? A very horrid lorry. Very horrid lorry, who's now not got a face. <laughs> That's the punishment. Yeah. <laughs> but take away your face. <laughs> no. Take away his face. <laughs> Quite a cruel place, so no, isn't it? It is. Um, the fact, control running. What do you expect? If you step out of line, I check your fish. <laughs> Roger, I check your fish. <laughs> do you not think I won't do it? Because <laughs> I'm mad enough to. <laughs> he does that to his workmen as well, not just the end. Yeah, no, I sure. check your fish. <laughs> Did you just back chat me? No, no. <laughs> I'm taking your fish. He rips, rips it off by the ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a man walking around with just a skeleton. <laughs> face. Yeah. Thomas saves the day. Have you ever saved the day, Calico? Several times. <laughs> have you? What 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 have you uh, done then to save the day? Well, we were behind targets at work, so I overcharged them <laughs> by <laughs> 60 quid. There you that go. saved the day, didn't it? It did. It got us our bonus. <laughs> Any way possible, isn't it, with you? Well, we had our bonus anyway, mm. but we wanted the bigger one, so mm. that's 60 quid. So we thought... That blonde woman over there, going over charge her. Come on, quick. Before she goes. <laughs> Sorry, now we're going to have to charge her for our new wheels. Which engine is collecting milk from the dairy? Percy, James, Toby, or Thomas? Tobias. It was Tobias, yes. Correct. Let's just say he's square. Hmm. 
You've watched the new Roll Call song, haven't you? You made me watch it. You know I did. <laughs> it was awful. See, I'm going to try and make him watch them every time. See how long the series stays on for then. What does the sign at the difficult bend say? And there are no options. Oh, no. Why is there no options? Because I'm quite mean like that. Well, that's no good. <laughs> it says. Yeah. If I remember correctly, yeah, in red writing. In red writing. Oh, you remember the writing. You should be able to remember what it said. Yeah. This is a, this is a problem. Well, well, yeah, go. On. Trying to imagine it. Okay. Uh, it says, danger. Yes. Slow. I can't accept that. Why not? Because it's not what it said. It was. It wasn't. It was. <laughs> it wasn't. What did it say then? Danger. Go slow. You missed the word go out. Are you really going to pick hairs for that? Yes. Goodness sake. You're the worst type of person. <laughs> Sorry, it's my job. It's your job to overcharge vulnerable people. It's my job to uh, be a quiz master. Thomas bumps his replacement carriages into which other engine? Edward, Henry, Gordon or James? Uh, it was James. And, and he wasn't best pleased, he was wasn't. He? he went all liver puddling and angry. <laughs> <laughs> what is on the runaway flatbeds? Pipes, timber, uh, wooden poles, or carriages? Pipe. It was pipes, or they could be poles. Or poles, yeah. yeah pipe, they could pole. be poles. They could be scaffold poles by the looks of them. Yeah. They looked a bit too thin to be pipes, but yes, we'll accept pipes. We'd have accepted poles either. Correct. What is the name of the new station? Abbey, Peel, Cowsthorpe, or Cronk? Cowsthorpe. It is. We finally met Cowsthorpe. Yep. Well, I've I've finally met. Him. Did you like Cowsthorpe? It was a beautiful station. It, it's re introduced into CGI into se in series seventeen for oh, the first really? time. Mm. So it must be one of those ones I use a lot. Well, they unlike Farquhar. <laughs> Farquhar will never be seen again. <laughs> it might do though, because they have Farquhar Quarry. Yeah, but it doesn't mean they're actually going to see Farquhar, does it? No, no. Um, Calico. Yeah. Should we add up your scores? If you want to. <laughs> well, it's for the best, isn't it? Calico. Yeah. You have scored twenty-two out of twenty-five. That's gonna be my worst score to s of ever. Well, one of them, yeah. You had a nineteen once. Did I? I think so. That must have been a really bad week. <laughs> yeah, this. Is, I mean, I suppose you could you could compensate. You could say that the episodes are worse, so your concentration is. They're not very engaging. No, no, they're no, not. No, I'm not going to make excuses. I didn't do very well on that one. No. But no, they weren't very engaging. No, they're not. Know. No, no. I understand, Calico. I was worried of what the uh, hit entertainment episodes would bring. Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell us about what they bring now. So, go on, off you go. So, Thomas and the fireworks display was quite boring in all fairness because there was no accident but you know it's it is what it is yeah it's about Thomas being a petty jealous tank engine <laughs> as usual um, nice choice of words uh, Percy's new whistle the very misleading title <laughs> he does I'm, sure, whistle. I'm sure that had a different title in America no it didn't none of these episodes in series 8 have a different title in America well I thought that would have been it. the Americans would have been all over that one. Oh, <laughs> darn it. He doesn't get a new whistle. Why has he got a new whistle? But no, um, yeah, he doesn't get a new whistle. It's just about him being annoying with a whistle. Mm. Are you oh. annoying with your whistle? Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I reckon they should have called it Percy's Annoying Whistle. Mm. Um, Not just Percy the Annoying. Then next one was Fish. Mm. A nice uh, reuse. Reuse, <laughs> reuse of uh, title there. Mm. Um, Titles or business? Uh, it's, it's about Thomas just being... An idiot again. An idiot, as usual. Well, get like used to that, Calico, because there's a lot of that. He doesn't like fish, but then he learns his lesson in the end. <laughs> uh, Emily's adventure. Well, mm. she's just like a typical Scots woman, really. <laughs> you are so racist. <laughs> well, they are. They are quite grumpy and bossy in nature, aren't they? True. Uh, and Thomas saves the day. It's really about Thomas warning someone because there's a runaway flatbeds and him having trouble with uh, the uh, difficult bend, difficult bend. Mm -hmm. even though it doesn't look so difficult to me no it needs to me to be honest it looks like a standard piece of track to be honest it's funny how the carriages yeah. rumble away but Thomas doesn't yeah very 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 peculiar 
but yeah, uh, so, not a bad start. So can you just sort of say what you're thinking of Series 8 as a whole to start with, you know, because it's a big transition, isn't it? From it is a big transition. Uh, I'm happy that they're still using the models. Yeah. Because I do like the models. Yeah, mm-hmm. This just gives it a classic twin twist. It does. Uh, some of the notice they've new, used new faces, so that's, that's a positive. Yeah. Uh, the stories are slightly worse. Because mm. they now kind of had to force it in there, there yeah. where Thomas makes a mistake and he learns from it. And every episode is all, is around that basis. Yeah, making a mistake and learning from it. Yeah, um, I think that gets a bit too much sometimes. Yeah, especially when you got twenty six episodes. But the series. yeah, but the crash, the la- they want the crash. They had two crashes in these sets of episodes. Yeah, um, and I was happy about three. that. three. Three crashes. The flatbeds, Thomas derailing with the carriages, and the fish one. Oh yeah. So yeah, three crashes. How Steve Ashworth as a as a director, staying true to Mitten? Yeah, I think he's straying away. But mm. yeah, I'm sure he'll be all right. I'm yeah. Sure he'll be and all right. what about the new music by uh, Robert Hart, Sean, and Ed Welch? It's okay, but uh, I think I prefer Mike, Junior, uh, yeah, Mike O'Donnell, and Junior Campbell. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I like Junior Campbell's name. What a cooler name than Junior <laughs> Campbell? <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, you'll leave us a comment below, won't you? And I hope you do continue to stay with us through these difficult times. <laughs> it's about the only thing that keeps us going. Yeah. Your support, your comments, and... Uh, yeah. And tell us how you feel of our ramblings, more importantly. Don't We don't care about what you think about the episodes, because we all know that, that <laughs> it goes downhill yeah. from now. But if you would like to leave us any... Comment in any Regar- way, shape, regarding or episodes or, yeah. or what our ramblings, Anything. please do. Yeah. There's no Leave a comment below. Yeah. So, without further ado, I think it's time for us to sign out, don't you? Yeah. So, from me, it's bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. And from Gallico, it's. Do something wrong and learn from it. That's what I'm, I'm delivering a message. So anyway, message of hit entertainment. <coughs> so anyway, Calico, what are we going to use as the outro thing? Are we going to stick with our original thing tune with the Mike and Junior, or should we update it with the show? No, we're going to stick to the old we as a middle finger to, to hit entertainment. <laughs> we shall stick with our classic music. We we're shall. not changing our theme tune for you. No. Why should we? No, we prefer theme. the classic <laughs> series, don't we? <laughs> we do, yeah. So we'll stick with the classic we music. Do. I just wanted to know if you wanted to like go up with the times or. No, I'm happy we're sticking with the classic. Okay, with the outro that goes dun 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 dun. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that that's better. I prefer that one because yeah. okay. I like to do the uh, kind of. Yeah, yeah, we all do play a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah.